My name is Megan Considine. I'm a Wiradjuri Walgaloo woman. I live in Brungle. I am part of the Wiradjuri Walgaloo community and I am a, our cultural natural resource management officer. Uh, I'm Lisa Slater and I work at the University of Wollongong and I live um, in Wollongong and I work with Megan and the Wiradjuri Walgaloo community in, in Brungle, in Brungle Tumut. Tumut and Brungle is home to Wiradjuri and Walgaloo people. Um, it's at the foot of a mountain with a beautiful river. Um, we're really lucky we've got a really strong community. So our project is about getting Wiradjuri Walgaloo people back out on country, uh, caring for our country um, and healing our country. What's fundamental um, to the project is putting culture at the centre of land management um, practices and so which enables uh, Radjuri Wogaloo to be to be really good, good great custodians, but a part of people working on country is that connection to country and that they, and um, there's, there's cultural practices. So it's not they're not simply employment uh, opportunities. They are that. Yeah. It's really about putting culture at the centre. This role just makes me feel like a full person. It makes me feel whole and my heart happy. Um, and I've seen that within a lot of people that go out on country. Um, it makes us whole. Brungle Tumut was really affected by the 2019-2020 the fires. And so I guess what comes out of that is really sort of great things is that various government agencies and non-government agencies also have a fair bit of money. But what happens is then they go into community and in this case the local land council and have all these projects. But this is overwhelming for, for people. They don't have the resources. And so you're, you're burning out just a, few, uh, just a few people. So a part of really uh, NRM agencies working in, com in community is putting the resources back in, into the community uh, so that there's jobs <laughs> and that you're building up the capacity of uh, community to be able to be able to fulfil all, all these different different roles. So I'd sort of say there's a couple of things there. One of them is that you actually uh, have operational funding where you fund people to be in particular roles, like Megan and Brad are in these in these various roles. And the other, and this is what we're trying wanting to do with the project, is you have money that uh, is spent on these sort of on country workshops where you're building up the capacity of co community. And so when they're called upon. To, by all these different agencies to do these roles that they have that capacity. But in another thing we want to do with the project is there's got to be capacity building with the, um, with the agencies also, which is around uh, relationship building and um, really important um, cultural, cultural learning. There are a lot of people who are involved. Um, we've got Lisa Slater from the University of Wollongong, Dave Hunter from DPE, Ethan Williams from DPE, he's the Cultural Fire Management Unit. And then we've got myself, Megan, and Brad, um, Brad Freeman. And we've got our, our local uh, Aboriginal Lauk. We had Ani Sue, um, she's resigned now, and we now have Ani Coral Bolger. We've had Shane um, Harrington, who had this role before Bradley and I. And we've got our amazing team. We've got Jamie Freeman, Jared Bowsfield, Rodney Penrith, Troy Russell, Adrian O'Brien. That's just to name a few. There's actually a lot, a lot more people that are involved. A really major part of, of the project is building really good, great relationships with other NRM agencies and doing a lot of healing work between with non-Indigenous um, people and um, Aboriginal people and traditional owners. Within our project, um, it all started sort of with Guyak and the Corroboree Frog and the kids and a lot of learning. We've been a part of cultural burns. Again, lots of stuff with the Corroboree Frog because our stories are, they're a part of us and we need to keep these stories alive. That's why the Corroboree Frog was, is such a big part of um, our project. We've got land management things happening like Reveg, endangered species monitoring. And this is all um, working with NRM agencies to move forward together and heal country together. When you're out on country, you bring culture with you. It's not a sort of add-on. When we go out on country, where the conversations are different. It's just like a full feeling. Traditionally, our people would have went out on country. They would have hunted, gathered. We were all like, you know, our piece of the puzzle. Now we go out and we, we're still taking care of country, but what we're bringing home instead of, you know, a kangaroo or fruit and stuff, we're bringing home money. We're bringing money back to the table. So 
the employment is how we're providing. You know, traditionally provided by hunting and gathering. Um, now we're providing because we're employed, we can provide that way. Being a cultural NRM basically just means I get to work with my people out on country and with NRM agencies um, and bring us together to do things that, you know, we need to have a healthy country. I say that a lot, but that's what we really want. We want our people out on country. We want people to be receptive to us. We want to be receptive to NRM agencies. We want to work together to do what's best.